All right, here we are at the coach's office again. Now, Neely, it's an apple for you, apple. mate. Apple. It's an apple for you. Now, don't read anything into that, all right? That's it's a peace just, offering. That's a, that's a, don't think that I think you might need a big bummed goal scoring forward at any time, all right? <laughs> just to let you know, I'm bringing the boots to the game. <laughs> well, mature age rookies are back in vogue. They are, mate, they you are. You just never know your luck. Time you keep working everything. on your fitness. <laughs> And remember, your next tackle will be your first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> mate, don't worry. I'm scaring. I'm scaring some footage. I'm going to find you some tackles. Please do, and I'll be. Uh, I'll put it up there. I'll even run the voiceover on the website if you could find that footage. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, well, let's get serious for a second, shall we? Uh, Please. Over in the West, you talked about uh, some positives. Yeah. Let's talk about those. What, okay, what did you see there? Sure. Some positive work. I thought the the boys in the centre centre clearances did did a really good job. Uh, against some very talented players yep. that were in there. We managed to get uh, boys like uh, Jack Watts, Jeremy Howe, a few centre bouncers and playing in unfamiliar yeah. positions. I think that's really important. Yeah. And I think it's important to use uh, the game partly from an educational perspective. Mm -hmm. And the West Coast Eagles are flying, a really slick outfit. And they're very disciplined. They stick to the structure that they want to play mm -hmm. for the full game. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that we got out of it was just their their work ethic mm -hmm. uh, from start to finish was exemplary. Yep. And you know we talked about that as a group, yep. and, and I think that's really important. At the same time, being firm with you know the the performance yep. in particular from yep. probably halfway through the second quarter until three quarter time is unacceptable. Yeah, and you know we're aware of that. Uh, the group have been made clearly aware of that mm -hmm. um, so it's important to to do that and at the same time continue to educate as to way the way that we want to play all right well let's move forward and always natural when you're getting beaten to look at who can come back into the side sure talk to me some guys that are you know soon going to be back in this team yeah we had a look at the vfl on sunday that the casey boys played against frankston had a one point victory so mm, was, that's good for morale uh, and exciting there were some good performances uh, I thought Jack Fitzpatrick played as a key forward in the ruck, played, uh, played really well. Luke Tapscott had a really good first half. Uh, Sam Blees uh, showed some glimpses of form. Tom Couch uh, is in good nick. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the footy again, some really important clearances. Mm -hmm. Carl Morton, uh, a lot of possessions. Troy Davis continues mm -hmm. to develop as a key defender. Mm -hmm. uh, I've probably missed a couple, uh, but uh, you know we, we were quite pleased. We're looking at this week Hopefully, Stefan Martin returned from injury. We've got a major training session tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, Brent Maloney, look, we'll look for him to train fully to see how he goes. He's important. Uh, he's, he's very important. And, you know, we've still got a couple of longer, or medium to long term injuries. You know, Cole Silver, obviously, we'd like to have him back in the side as yeah. soon as we can possibly get him there. Jake Spencer returns, first yeah. game on the weekend from a knee reco, so he'll play at Casey. Big pencil. Uh, yeah, big fella. So, you know, there's a few around that are well, pushing for selection. Now, Aaron Davey, obviously, he's had a couple of years of injuries. He obviously dropped. How did he go? And, and what's the process for him? Is it just to get lots of touches? Yeah, no, well, the other way, it's really Aaron. We're working through a conditioning program with Aaron, mm -hmm. and he's had an interrupted pre-season. So, we're, you know, the footy world knows that Aaron can tackle. The mm -hmm. footy world knows he's got uh, outstanding kicking skills and handballing skills, and, and he reads the play really well. We just need to get Aaron as quickly as we can up to the conditioning that's required to play 85% game time. Mm. And he did a lot of fitness work on the weekend and has certainly you know, put his name up for selection again this weekend, mm. but we'll, we'll do that this afternoon and follow it up Thursday and see how we go. Well, mate, the yeah. coaching staff, I mean, uh, MCG this week, uh, what are you asking from your players? As a coaching staff players, go out there, Richmond, big crowd, it's going to be exciting. What do you want to see? Yeah, well, well, we want to see continued improvement. We felt last week, as a group, probably two and a half quarters, they were able to stick at the structure under intense heat, uh, you know, to win a game of footy at AFL level, continue to improve. We need to produce that for longer. Mm -hmm. So it's just the the ability to play the way we want to play with intensity. You've got to do it when you're fatigued mm -hmm. and you've got to do it when the heat's on. Yeah. And we need everybody being able to do that. And, yeah. and the longer we can do that, the longer we're in the game. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's what we're going there to see. Neil, thanks very much, mate. I will be there at the MCG against uh, the Tigers. It's going to be exciting. I will have my boots, just in case. All Excellent, right? Robbo. Now, and for those people watching on the website, you've heard it. Robbo will be scouring the footage this week to see if he can find himself laying a tackle. And if he does it, I'll run the commentary over the top of it. We'll <laughs> see how he goes. That's a deal. You get yourself a deal. Thanks, Robbo. Excellent. Good on you, Robbo. <laughs> Thanks, mate.